What's up? It's Neen Williams, and today we're gonna do an episode of Cheat Meal. This cheat meal is gonna be very special. And my friend Vito, the owner of Pizza Provami off of Melrose in LA, one of my favorite places to get pizza in LA, challenged me a not a damn chance challenge. I don't even know what he's gonna make me. You know, I could eat two, three pizzas. I think he has something up his sleeve today and I'm kind of scared. I don't know what to expect. I'm not going down without a fight. I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna try my best to finish every last bite of whatever he makes me. I'm always down for a nice challenge. If there's a spot you think I should try, let me know down there in the comments. Let's get this going. We are on our way to Pizza Provami to meet up with Vito. Let's see what he has in store for us. Here, Pizza Provami, my friend Vito, he's about to whip up a not a damn chance feast. He's gonna try to beat me. He says he knows what it takes and uh, I'm not gonna be able to finish the food, so we're gonna see. Today, we are here. I'm gonna make a classic uh, focaccia barese, like my grandmother used to do it. Because this is gonna be really challenging. But also, at the same time, it's gonna be really delicious. Ooh, wee. That sounds so good. Gonna put some olive oil. Press it gentle. Make sure it's not sticking the bottom. That looks insane. Nice and soft. Wow. Okay, now, we are ready to put some ingredients. But, we're gonna put it in the way that my grandmother used to do it. So, just pinch it a little bit and then we break it on the focaccia like this and we squeeze. Squeeze! Wow! <laughs> I like that special method right there. One more. We squeeze. See? We, we want the, the, I don't know how to... <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Now, final touch, a couple of olives. Ci abbiamo le olive? Dove sono? Dietro. Final touch, a couple of uh, uh, Kalamata olives. We're gonna squeeze it in between the dough. So you put it and then try to put it in the dough. Put it. So now we have to let it rest for about uh, 15 minutes. We're okay. gonna let it rest like this in a place warm. In the meantime, we're gonna make a pizza for, uh, for Jess. Oh, yes, I can't wait to try that. Wow. So we need to let it rest a little bit. Did you see this little bubble? You'll see it's gonna grow a little bit, and then it's gonna make the air in between the dough. Okay. So you have the crunch and the soft at the same time. 
Sounds amazing. So let's make this pizza for, for Jess. Hey, for pizza for Jess right here. She likes hers nice and basic. Just pepperoni and mushrooms, some sauce, no cheese. try this out so right now we're waiting for the dough to set then we're gonna throw it in cook it nice and slow this focaccia is gonna be amazing I've been waiting to try this focaccia for about two months now when he was in Italy he posted a story eating this focaccia and it looked so damn good that I had to try it it's time to put it in the oven see we got the little bubble done gently I'm gonna go ahead Super hot. Okay. What do we need? So this is very typical because of the muratori, the, the people that work on the street or they build a house. It's typical. When they have the lunch break, that's what they eat. Focaccia with mortadella and mozzarella. Oh man. So that's what you're gonna eat today. So because they are really, really hungry, so they eat the, the focaccia with typical barese from Bari, my town. So we need some mortadella with pistacchio. And some fresh mozzarella. One entire log. Oh my god. <laughs> a lot of cheese right there, buddy boy. So we're gonna cut it. This one is good. Uh, kind of like this. And we're gonna make sure that we're gonna put it when it's still half to the focaccia. Okay. Wow. You're trying to beat me, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, well, if you cannot finish, I eat it for you. <laughs> All that fresh mozzarella is gonna go in here. Ready? Oh man. Woo. That smells so good. It smells good. Seat. This way, we let it cool down a little bit. This way, the tomato, you'll see, it's gonna go a little bit down. So you're gonna check it out, then pick it out from the pan. Do you see? Those are special pan that comes from uh, Bari. The typical thing of this, you never wash it, never. Perfect. Because if you wash it one time, you're gonna throw it away, and the pizza will, stick. and the, the dough will stick. This way, it doesn't stick. I put this on the plane in my bag. Uh, we're gonna be ready to make the not a damn chance. Focaccia for my friend Neil William. Not a damn chance. Focaccia right here. It's going down. You ready to operate, make an operation? Operation ADC. Yes, I'm coming. trying to do to me, bro? It's like a big sandwich. Barese with mortadella is ready for the big 
big challenge. Wow. <laughs> It's gonna be a hard challenge right here. That's one hell of a sandwich. Pizza sandwich, a focaccia sandwich. I'm the only one that makes this, this focaccia, Barese, original Barese. My grandmother taught me in Los Angeles, the entire city. It's I mean, a look at this. Look right here. Oh my God, it's insane. So good. This is gonna be a really big challenge for me. Provami Pizzeria. We got the focaccia, focaccia sandwich. It's looking pretty big. Let's see how this goes. hit a wall a lot of carbs a lot of flavors it's delicious and it's very heavy so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk a second make some room in there just waiting I want to see with my eyes <laughs> I want to see with my eyes that he, he's gonna eat it all <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna walk it off for a second. And don't mind me. <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna walk back and forth until I make some room in here. And we're going in.
here is a challenge. All that cheese, woo! The dough, deliciousness is a challenge. We're very close. Completed Vito's Focaccia, Mortadella, and Mozzarella challenge. My friend, I have to shake your hands, my friend. <laughs> shake your hands, shake your fingers, shake your hands. That's oh, what I'm God. talking about when it's good food, it's good food. It doesn't matter how much, how big, how heavy you eat it all. This is the not a damn chance challenge. It's so good. Now you do the next challenge. one. Now you do the next one. Woo! How do you feel about that, Vito? <laughs> I can't believe that you were finished it. I was ready here already. If you, he leave, if you leave it, I'm gonna eat a little bit. But no chance for me. It hey, was a real not a damn chance because I didn't have a chance to eat more. Hey, maybe next time, Vito. I'll make another one tomorrow. <laughs> maybe next time. Thanks, though. Check Thanks so much. Check out the YouTube channel. Check out the YouTube channels. Yep, check out Vito's YouTube channel. Come over here to Pizza Provami. Yep. Try it out, try out that focaccia. See if he'll make you that focaccia sandwich and do the Not A Damn Chance challenge awesome. if uh, you think you could do it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>